Greetings people, it's uh, Gerard here, Wolfgang1, back to do another Transformers Generation 1 Redux review. Now, I know I've already reduxed this once, but now I have titles and effects and interesting things going on in my videos, so you're just going to have to put up with me for the time being. I promise I will get around to doing a normal review, uh, like a new one, at some point soon, but for now you'll just have to put up with all my rehashed bullshit that's come from before. So today, I'm going to be reduxing, again, Generation 1 Reissue Megatron. A fantastic, fantastic, outstanding figure. One I wished I'd uh, got as a child. Let's have a look at the inside of the box. You can use it as a display piece like this. This looks quite impressive. Um, the only thing about these Takara reissues is you don't have the um, battle scene on the back. So you're just uh, shown in Japanese um, all the things that come with it. You get a pretty good idea of what they're talking about, even if you can't read a word of the language. Um, I picked this up for about 35 quid. Now I've seen um, Buy It Now's on eBay for this recently. Um, opening bid of a £50 or you can buy it outright for 150 Now I'm sorry but I love the reissue Megatron but it's not worth £150 on a Buy It Now. So um, that's my opening thoughts. I'm going to move right on to the figure itself. And there he is. A rather fantastic specimen. I'm interested to see what the masterpiece version of this looks like. I, I think it's about twice the size or something. I mean, I, I don't know. I've heard it's uh, hideous to transform. <coughs> um, so is this, actually, to be honest, when I first got it. Um, but it is a remarkable, remarkable figure. Uh, very heavy in the main gun section where it counts. Um, it comes with loads of little extras. You get a rather large and rather, dare I say, intimidating sword. Um, this little sort of ray gun thing that doesn't stay in his hand at all. I have absolutely no idea why. And as an interesting little touch, they give you the uh, the energy mace that he uses in the pilot episode, which is, you know, hangs all the way down to his uh, feet. But there we are. Um, speak, let's speak of character. Um, character, character. He is your quintessential proper bastard. Uh, very intelligent, very cold, very calculating, manipulative, maniacal. Um, but he is... Um, when I say he's very intelligent, let me put it another way. He is uh, always brought down by the one thing he doesn't take into his equation. But one thing he doesn't factor in is generally the thing that will fuck him up. Um, in every incarnation that I can think of, you have a Megatron character, in much the same way you have a Prime character. And Megatron is always the um, leader of his respective faction, whether it be Beast Wars or any other Transformers line. He's the leader of the antagonist uh, faction. This is modelled on a Walther P-38 pistol, add-ons, scope, silencer, uh, stock. Um, there's a lot of weight, as I said in the gun part, that's mostly due to the die-cast metal that um, Sakara chose to um, put in the reissue, and I'm very, very glad they did that. It makes it uh, feel slightly more like the original from 1984. Um, Megatron was originally part of the Takara Micro Man line or something really really ridiculous and Hasbro in the infinite wisdom bought up literally every mould they could get their hands on and created a late 20th century icon sorry you know you know my thing and smoking reviews there we go um, let's move on to the uh, figure let's take all this crap off that's the other thing I will point out. When you try and take the um, silencer off, it falls off. So, my word of warning would be be careful. Take off the scope. Right, so there, there you are, is your, uh, your gun. The transformation is a bit tricky, as I said, if you've never done it before. And thankfully, um, I've got used to this now. Pull out the feet, pull down the legs, and split them apart forward to the front, there we are, just like that. 
uh, pull down this section that will form the head and pull back the entire back of the gun split it apart like so the barrel section spin round I say spin around, there's something stopping it. There we are. Uh, spin around, detach the barrel and fold it under. Like so. These back parts, pull them out to the sides and release the tabs that pull out the hands. And then finally, this entire die cast metal shoulder blade section, push it up to the front and click it into place. Now I, I said this on the original review, my very first review that I did for YouTube and I said it in the Redux, how, what sort of mind thinks I can take that gun, I can move a few parts around here, there and everywhere and I can come up with this. That's absolutely, absolutely fucking incredible. Um, the sun is really coming through these windows so you, that's helped the uh, rub sign, it's got a really nice rub sign on him just there put his iconic fusion cannon on his arm. Ah, yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, get on. There we are. And there he is. He is fucking fantastic. I said it twice. I said it twice in the other reviews. I still say it now. He's absolutely fucking fantastic. And for 35 quid, I reckon I got a really good deal on him, actually. Uh, the leg is very, very loose here. This arm is very loose. The arm was loose when I got it. This leg has come loose over the last couple of months. There's not really a lot I can do about that, unfortunately. Um, I still don't care, though. I got him for 35 quid. I didn't pay £150, like a mug. I got him really cheap. And I heartily recommend, if anyone can get out there and pick themselves up the original or the reissue, I cannot stress enough how much you should do it, because he is absolutely beautiful. I love him to pieces. Now, I'm going to put him down to one side for just a minute, because I don't think I've got a lot of time left, and I'm going to show you the other section. Hang on, I need this fucking fusion cannon for this. I'm going to show you the other section, that the other parts of the gun, for my sort of standalone secondary weapon. Um, take that off, uh, then we'll, what do we do? The, pull out the tab on the uh, forward silencer, stick that in the slot. Um, well, that is anyone's guess after that, really. Uh, I mean, um, fuck it, I haven't got a clue. Uh, there we go. Yeah, you put that part in there. You're supposed to release these two tabs on the back. It makes it look like a bit of a crossbow thing. But I can't do it because I'm a, There we are. Uh, slip, slip, put this in the back here. Well, I generally tend to do that anyway. Put this on the bottom. Like that. And then finally, stick the fusion cannon. Again, it has another two little things just on the back. I can't bother to do those now because I might be running out of time. Put it on the top like that. And there you have his secondary base weapon thing. Very, very impressive. Again, who thought I'll take all these parts and I'll turn it into this? Looks a little bit like a Star Wars blaster. I said that before as well. In fact, I'm not saying anything new in this, in this review at all. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. The box work, box artwork was fantastic. Go out and buy one. That's it. I, I could have saved myself fucking ten minutes and just said, here's the toy, go out and buy it. It's fantastic. Because it is. There we are. Um, that's my Redux review on Megatron. Reissue. Hope you enjoyed it, to be honest. I, uh, I kind of feel like I wasted your time a little bit with it, but that's fine. So, until my next Redux review, which I think will either be Sunstorm or Blue Streak or someone like that. Um, thank you very much for watching, people. Take care. And uh, if you feel generous, generous enough to subscribe to this channel after watching this uh, travesty of a review, um, then thank you very much. Until then, next time, take care. Just tell me I can